Hello there. I didn't expect to see you guys here. Since I couldn't make it to class to give my presentation today, I'm going to give you a video presentation from my apartment. Exciting. All right. Since I can't be there, what I was going to do is like group activity with you guys. Where I was going to have you all stand up in a big circle. And what I was going to have to do is Martin be the leader. You can be the leader still if you want to, but hey, whatever. And what I, what you guys had to do was come up with three words to describe Danielle. And I was only going to give you a minute. Now, since you guys probably won't do the activity, since I'm not there, I'll explain its importance at the end when you have a little bit more background knowledge of what I'm doing. Okay, first of all, I'm going to explain America's core values to you so I can compare them back to India's so then you get a better understanding. So if you look over here at my barrel model, All right, um, as you guys know, we have the infrastructure, the social structure, and the superstructure for our, that we kind of base America's individualism and choice values on. Um, like through the infrastructure, we see our economic system, like our mass media, our mass markets, our malls, where we can, you know, um, show our, like, our value of choice, because we have so many selections that we can choose from. And then we move up to social structure, we have our like social organizations, political organizations, which allow us to voice our opinions, which shows individualism through ourselves. And then through the superstructure, we pretty much tie together our individualism and choice. Um, but in our, like for our economy, like I said, we had our power choice through like say soda. There's like 50 million kinds of sodas out there that we can choose from. But if you're in India, you basically just have water. <laughs> Um, we also see it through marriage, because we don't have arranged marriages here. So we base mainly our marriages here on love. And then, like I said before, politics, we can voice our opinion and everything. Um, but now if we talk about India, it's interesting because their core values are completely opposite of ours. It's all about the group. Now, what does that mean? It basically means you can't, you don't really think for yourself. You think in, all in terms of what will benefit benefit the group. For instance, for um, the economy, um, like subsistence pattern, like farming, um, we see that through like hunting and gathering. Whenever they go out, they do not only collect for themselves, they collect for everyone. And that shows how, you know, they're not thinking only for themselves. And then we also th see it through marriage. Um, with India, their marriage is obviously not based on love. Since they can start arranged marriages as low as like four years old for some girls, um, and this also can benefit the group, as it was noted in before, that um, it can be paid with a dowry or gifts towards the family. Now, I forgot to mention this earlier, but most of my information, I got some information from my three books from the library, but what I had to do was basically take the information that you guys all gave and interpret it in order to give, um, to see what India's core values were, since books don't obviously just say India's core values are. Um, and we also see this through family. Um, in the United States, or America, we see family as being individualistic. Like, we do not think in terms of what's going to benefit the whole family. We see in terms of what's going to benefit ourselves. We see this, see this through our individual decisions and choices, like going to college, for instance, that will benefit you, not mainly your whole family, unless you do, of course, make a lot of money and so on and so forth. But we're not going to get into that. Um, but in India, the family is, unity is very important. It's all about togetherness. And we see that through the family decisions that are made, because they make decisions on careers, um, choice, choices, uh, made selection, and marriage. And unity is basically more important than the house itself. And this also ties back into the activity I was going to share with you guys today. What I was going to do was have Martin, since the leaders are in the house are usually male, I was going to have Martin portray the male influence. And he basically had to get all of you guys together and basically making you guys all think on the same page in order to come up with those three words to explain Danielle. Now, since I only was going to give you guys a minute, it probably wouldn't have worked out so well. Since you guys are so used to our individualism, you guys probably would have started cl like clashing heads. But it basically shows how to get everyone thinking 
in group terms, which is basically what India is. Thinking it in group terms and basically being unity for each other and not just ourselves. Um, that's basically all the information I have. Uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful class and God bless India.